Thank you, Chris. Thank you for uh, letting me come and speak to your pledges. Uh, guys, my name is Scott Moffitt, and I work with a student organization called DULOS. Has any, any guys ever heard of DULOS? Probably not, since we're mostly freshmen. Um, but DULOS was started by UF Greeks, specifically for UF Greeks, just a, a few years back. And uh, we are here to help you be the best pledge, the best brother, and later in the future, the best man you can be, the best husband and father, businessman in the community. Uh, Dulos is actually the Greek word for servant. And so our organization is really here to serve you guys and help you in any way we can. Uh, so uh, before I get started, though, I just want to congratulate you on two really important decisions that you've made. One is coming to the University of Florida, one of the top schools in the nation. So congratulations for that. Well done getting in here. Uh, the second thing is for deciding to rush and accept a bid from this chapter. Uh, being a part of Greek life here at UF is going to be a very influential, significant part of your life for the next four, five, six years, however long you're here. Um, and the guys here in this punch class with you are probably going to be some of your best friends. Some of the guys in this room are going to stand up with you at your wedding uh, as groomsmen. Some of these guys will be with you when you get your first job or when you have your first kid, when you take the trip to Europe, whatever it is, like these are the guys you do things with. So look around this room and know that some of these guys are really going to be lifelong friends. And that's the whole point of the brotherhood of this chapter. And so we as Dulos, we really want to promote that. We are pro-Greek and we love the fact that you guys have rushed and are part of this, going to be part of this fraternity. So however long it takes to get through Pledge Ship, uh, it's worth enduring whatever you have to endure. So stick it out. Uh, so, that being said, I just want to tell you that uh, one of the things we want to do with DULOS is really help you guys make that transition from high school to college. Anybody notice that college is a little bit different than high school? You don't go to class from 9 to 3 and you've got all this free time. No one's there to wake you up in the morning to make sure you get to class or to study. So, sometimes your time management can be really challenging. We offer a two-page worksheet that we can help you with your goals and your priorities to really make that transition well into college. We want to help you be the best pledge you can be, like I said, and therefore become a brother that is influential in your chapter and on campus. So, um, DULOS is not just about helping you be uh, better with your time management, though. Our primary purpose and focus is to be a spiritual resource to Greeks at UF. And uh, Dulos has kind of four things that we believe from the Bible. Whether you've grown up in church or not, I just want to quickly walk through what those are. The first thing is that we believe that God exists, and not only does he exist, but God loves you. Each and every one of you is loved by God. And the reason that you are alive today is because you were created by him for a relationship with him. So that's the first thing, that God loves you. The second thing is that we are all sinful people. We've all rebelled against God in some way. And so we've separated ourselves from God and severed that relationship with Him. So that's the second thing. But because God really does love us, He wanted to um, bridge that gap that our sin has created. And so He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins so that we could reestablish that relationship with God. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is that you not just know those three facts, that God loves you, that you're sinful, and that Christ died to pay the penalty for your sins. The fourth thing is that you must personally, individually receive Jesus into your life for forgiveness and for eternal life. And so, uh, by faith, you do that. In the same way that you received that bid and you took it, you accepted it, you received it, uh, the Bible said you have to receive Christ into your life to experience his love and forgiveness. So that's kind of the main thing that we um, focus on in DULOS. And if you have come here from a church background or, or interested in faith, we want you to know that there's a place within Greek life to pursue that area of your life. In fact, there are uh, multiple areas of your life to pursue in college. Uh, one of them is academic, intellectual area of your life with the University of Florida is obviously going to challenge you and develop you in your ability to think and to grow academically. Uh, so we're not going to really focus on that. 
Um, socially, you're going to grow through your experience here in this fraternity and Greek life. You're going to have plenty of opportunities to meet tons of people and do a lot of fun things. So we're not going to focus on that. But the spiritual area of your life is usually the one that most college students neglect, uh, if not completely ignore. And so that's why we exist, is because there was a void in the Greek life in terms of spiritual development. So Dulos was created by Greeks for Greeks. So that if you want to have a relationship with God, if you want to pursue that while you're at UF, you can do that within the context of the Greek community. With maybe even some of the, the guys here in your own pledge class. Um, so, I wanted to uh, let you know about a couple things. One is... We have our first Dulas meeting coming up on September 9th. It'll be at the Tridel House at the Wednesday night uh, at 8 o'clock. So make your way over to Sorority Road and come, come be with us. There'll be probably four or 500 Greeks that show up for that first meeting, just kind of checking it out. So if you're interested in that, uh, we'd love to invite you to that. Also, um, here, why don't you take a car, pass it around. What I'd like you to do is, um, Put your name on this card, and if you'd like to get together to talk about how to manage your time, go through the time management worksheets, put your phone number down, or if you'd like to get together to talk about your relationship with God, put the word God on there and your phone number. So do two things. Put your name, and then if you want us to contact you, put your phone number down. So if we see your phone number, that means we're going to call you or text you and write down what you want to get together about. Do you want to talk about your relationship with God? Do you want to talk about time management? Or do you want to talk about both? Just write that on your card and then uh, pass those back up. Um, the other thing I want to invite you to is a men's, a Greek men's Bible study that will be starting this fall. So even though you're still going to be pledges, we're going to bring guys together from different chapters that want to focus on the relationship with God. And so uh, we can talk about that too. If you're interested in that, just put a Bible study on your card. So that's all I have. Why don't you guys pass those cards back up to me? Appreciate your time. And uh, like I said, whatever happens these next few weeks and months, it's going to be worth it. So stick it out. Uh, being a brother in this chapter is going to um, be a significant part of your life. So I just want to encourage you to, to make the most of it. Thanks, guys.